Hey, Maggie. Ah, oh, there you are. Hey, Beth. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. Just give me a second. Excuse me. I need to turn some light on back here so it won't be so dark. That helped a little bit. There's nothing wrong with dark. It's a little too dark in here. Uh. <laughs> hey, me. I like I like the name me. I'm gonna call myself that too. That's makes cool. it a whole lot easier, doesn't it? Right. Hi, Ron. I like Hi. it. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. I see you guys can see all my bags back here. Oh, look at that. My party stuff. Beautiful. I I pulled this stuff out, Beth. I thought they might wanna see this. Uh, yes. Yeah. Good thinking. Mine's still in my kitchen, so it's all you. Uh, that's that's perfectly fine because I'm gonna let you talk about Facebook stuff. Woohoo! I love Facebook. I know you're good at it. My thing. Hi, Susan. Hi. How are you this evening? Good. Glad to have you on. Are you feeling better, Beth? Thank you. Hey Beth, are you feeling better? Did you get you some medicine? I am on so many different allergy drugs right now. Like it's a wonder I'm even conscious. Like, <laughs> and I'm consuming such mass amounts of caffeine. <laughs> it's, really, it's not even funny. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna overdose on some of this stuff at some point, and it's gonna be bad. You That's okay. You cracked me up with the caffeine. Oh my god. You just don't even know. I know uh, our energies. I know. Two two a day. I was tempted to do a third, but I held back. Because I feel like then my heart might just literally explode because I know it's terrible for me. But <laughs> you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. That's Is anybody else a caffeine addict like me? Like I it, it's that yeah, right? Thank you, Rhonda. I'm glad I'm not the only deviant. Um, yeah, it's bad. Aside from my lemon drop martinis that I drink while I cook, I've ingested nothing liquid wise but caffeine today. It's very sad. Oh, goodness. But I'm still here. It's did okay. You, did you cook dinner tonight? Mm hmm. Oh my God. Read my Facebook. Okay. Marikin, my dinner tonight involved zesting a lime. Oh, wow. Lemongrass. Wow. Um, right? Who does that? <laughs> Peeling mint leaf. We can't um, grass up here. Oh my God. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's, I mean, it's very strong. That's like all I could taste. Uh, mincing shallots. Like it was all kinds of crazy. I can't wait to see it. So y'all, <sighs> a little backstory on that. When Beth came up to see me in December, I cooked for her and she made a vow that she was going to try to cook more this year. So she is she's cooking dinner for her family. I am. For, we're like at the end of the first quarter and I've cooked like at least three times a week every week. It's been awesome. It's we crazy. Have, we have hobo packs in the oven. We were going to do them on the fire down at the dock, but it started raining and we didn't have quite enough wood going. So they're in the oven finishing up and we'll eat them in a little bit. So, nice. All right. Well, it is 9.05 ladies. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we are going to start um, talking to you all about the awards for, for this month so far. Now, remember, these are the awards up to this point in the month, and there is still time. I cannot, um, Marie, can at least for me. Oh, I am. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, maybe it might be me because my internet sucks bad. I don't know. Um, Y'all just let me know if you can't hear me, and I'll repeat, okay? So I was saying we're doing the awards for so far this month, but there's still time for you all to move yourselves up in the ranks before the end of the month because we still have, oh, four days left. Um, and what a crazy month we have had this month. Wow. Double hostess credits have been something else. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll start. We're going to start with our best Facebook friend award. And Beth, do you have your best fa Facebook friend? For the month? I know um, you have some, but not... 
No, because I'm on a lot of drugs today. So no, I don't have that. Right. I'm sorry. I love all of you. <laughs> love you, rock stars. Woo! Yeah. Everybody's I, our friend. best Facebook friend this month. Susan, turn that video back on. I want to see you. Right? Okay. So our best Better. Facebook. Thank you. Oh. Hey, Susan. Hi, Susan. She's beautiful. Um, so our best Facebook friend this month is Susan Weiss. So congratulations. Yay. This one is wonderful with sharing ideas um, with everyone on Facebook and, you know, celebrating everyone. Anytime we have a new team member, Susan is one of the first ones to celebrate them. She is on there commenting, posting, and sharing on a regular basis. But I do have an honorable mention, okay? So I have a second person. She's the honorable mention. And I think it's probably because she's just getting started. And the honorable mention goes to, Sue, to Rhonda Dutton because Rhonda has yeah. really been out there and posting and thanking and liking. And um, that is awesome. She's still learning where to find pictures and things. Um, but she really is working to, to really be a valuable member of our team helping everyone out. So thank you, Rhonda, for being awesome. And thank you, Susan, for being awesome. Don't know if you all saw those pictures of Susan from our retreat, but she has some amazing pictures that um, she posted on her page. I've never seen so many comments, Susan. Oh my word, everybody's in love with them. They were fabulous. So It was super cute. I saw that. Yeah, we're hiding mine. Yeah, they were really good. Mine were not as cute. <laughs> Hers were fabulous. We were like, uh, what happened when the tough photographer got to me? But it's all right. Um, anyway, so the next one is our top party year award. So Beth, if you have, um, I know you have some, but not others. Beth is really feeling miserable today. So I apologize. I do have some, I put them in the dock. I don't know if you saw that Marikin. I did um, my top party or top number of parties, Liz Torgerson had 11 parties submitted so far. Wow. wow. Oh, you got oh, 11. That's like record breaking. Love it. She's amazing. Way to go. That is amazing. Right? So my top partier is Karen Carrier and she had five parties put in so far this month, which I thought was pretty amazing until I just heard the 11. Um, but both of those are pretty fabulous. My average number of parties per month is eight. So to already have um, 11 parties in and five parties in so far this month is fabulous. So you all are rock stars. So congratulations to Karen and Beth, tell me her name again. Liz. Liz, because that's incredible. So um, check this out. The next one is the top party by volume, meaning how much they had for one party. Um, so what did you have, Beth? Um, I had the fabulous Janae, Love who Janae. had a party of 1,261. So way to go, Janae. She's awesome. probably at a hockey arena somewhere tonight. That is an awesome mega party. Where she usually is. So she will see this. Woohoo! Way to go. Ooh, amazing. Yes. And I had um, a new consultant just out of her 120 days, um, Sarah DeBusk, who put in a party of $1,926. Wow. Nice. $1,926. I had to check that. I was like, was that one party? And it was. So that is an amazing part of, party for Sarah as well. So congratulations, Janae and Sarah, on amazing parties. And recruiting this month, you all are on a roll with the recruiting, I tell you. Um, how's your team doing with recruiting so far, Beth? Good. Well, I only pulled the ones that had more than one. So for more than one, I wanted to recognize Sheree Rodriguez had two and Danielle Paul had two. So way to go. That is awesome. Um, for my dream building divas, I did pull the ones. Um, I had two and everyone else had one and they were fabulous. So I wanted to celebrate Karen Carrier, Nikki Huffman, Judy Ferris, Susan Weiss, and Rebecca Homan for having one recruit so far this month. So congratulations, lady. And we do have a dream building debut. Um, Rebecca Homan had her very first recruit this month um, and we're really excited to have her her new recruit with us. Um, so Joan Horty um, is her recruit. So she is one of our new ladies that's with us. So congratulations to Rebecca for being um, 
for recruiting your very first recruit ever. That's amazing. That's awesome. I did not you I didn't them. have anybody with their very first recruit, not for March, um, but lots of people in February. So way to go. Amazing. Um, I did not have a Phoenix Award this month. Most of my ladies um, were selling and really working hard um, over the past couple of months. So I didn't have a Phoenix Award on my end. Did you have a Phoenix Award? Beth, did you have a Phoenix Award? I did. I did. I want to give a shout out to Bobby Markley. This uh, March is the first time so far in 2017 she's put in sales mm -hmm. and she put in an $871 party. Mm -hmm. So go Bobby, super impressed. That's amazing. Yes. So let's celebrate our new consultants. We have a number of new consultants, quite a few on the Dreamweavers team. We have Crystal Hodges who just joined on Saturday. So welcome Crystal. We have Christy Oliver who is brand new, Connie Krantz. Um, Joe Carty, Rhonda Dutton, Rebecca Holman, Susan Shaw, and Megan Humphreys are all new recruits since our January 23rd call. So for the past two months, all of these ladies are brand new. So congratulations and thank you all for joining us. New recruits, Ms. Beth? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got a second page over here. Hold on. I've got Brooklyn Clutter. I was going to say, you got more. Oh, my girl, I'm looking at you. Brooklyn Clutter, Chelsea um, Easton, Contessa Justice, and Margaret Justice all have been new in the past two months. So all still working on earning their start swells. Whoa. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Okay, so new since uh, January 23rd, I think was the date. Um, so past two months, we are welcoming Samantha Lease, Michelle Ward, Tony Martin, Priscilla Cortez, Dee Dee Edwards, Lisa Half, Michelle Persinu, Katie Watcher, Tracy Knopfsinger, Joy Kite, Tatiana Luna, Veronica Feltz, Tracy Barkett, and Diane Howells. It's amazing. Wow. Yay. So many new ladies. We're so excited to have you all. Um, so the next thing we're going to celebrate are Start Swell and Newly Qualified. I right now have some ladies that are right on the verge of Earning starts wells and right on the verge of being qualified. Rhonda, have you put in anything today? Rhonda, have you put in sales today? No, no. Okay, well, Rhonda is like this close. I mean, this close. We're working on those starts wells because today is the end of her starts well date. So we are trying to earn that starts well for her. She is right at it, and we're going to get it before the end of the night. Um, Beth? Um, well, I have Tatiana Luna earned her start swell and just qualified. She earned her start swell for you um, and just qualified. So way to go, Tatiana. Super impressive. Love it, love it. Fabulous. Um, what it means to be qualified, ladies, just in case you don't know, is to have sold your first hundred, first thousand dollars with the company. And once you're qualified, um, that means that you really are getting it. You're a learning consultant and the company considers you as really working your business. So we want to get you all to that qualified level as soon as we can. All right, so the next thing we're, we're talking about are our K-group earners. And believe it or not, there are some ladies that have already earned their K-groups. Um, mm -hmm. Super amazing. So, so far um, in the half K-group, I have Judy Ferris, Nikki Huffman, and Sarah DeBusk. Who are your half K-earners, half Beth? That is, I did not pull my K group stats, you guys. I'm sorry. This one is a hard one to pull. It takes some work. So but they don't make it easy. Well, I'm gonna easy I'm gonna, for us. I'm gonna teach Beth my Excel spreadsheet I made on this one. It helps. I'll let you do it for me. How about that? <laughs> I'll take care of them. You know I will. Okay. Um, for my 1K, I have Tara Reader and Karen Carrier have earned 1K already. And I have a number of ladies that are very close to earning. Um, so give me just 30 seconds, let me pull this document up and I will tell you who they are. Um, I have a number of ladies that are very close to earning um, half K already. Marlena Ruda, Rhonda Akers. You're half breaking up a bit. Okay. Rhonda Akers. You're breaking up a little. Am I still? Okay. Rhonda Akers. 
is $850 away from earning um, half K. Susan Weiss is $885 away from earning half K. Tabitha Dudding is $960 away from earning half K. And Joe Carty is $1,000 away from earning half K. So this is our very first month. And for people to be that close already to earning half K is incredible. Um, so congratulations, ladies. You all are doing a fabulous job with your business. So the next thing that we wanted to talk to you all about are the important dates that we have coming up very shortly. Um, next week is our Better Together Month. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Who's registered? Raise your hand if you're registered to attend. Yay. Oh, Yay. Rhonda and Susan are going to a mega meeting in Richmond, Virginia. Oh, fun. Saturday. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a better together on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. So looking forward to that too. Awesome. awesome. Well, you good for you going to two. I'm that's impressive. Yeah. Um, my better together meeting locally. My better together mm -hmm. locally is on Monday night at six o'clock, and we are going to be at. Um, oh, it's got to come to me. Lucy Monroe's in Christiansburg, Virginia at six o'clock and we will be having dinner. If you do plan to attend, um, go ahead and take a look at the menu in advance. So when you get there, you'll be ready to order because it does take them a few minutes to get our food out. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you all on, on Monday night. Beth, when is your better together? Mine is on Saturday. Okay. Um, we are at Hoosier's Grill right in my clubhouse in my neighborhood yet again um and we'll have fabulous menu they finally got their full menu done so it's super exciting um and i cannot wait to see my girls that are coming out i'm looking forward to it um so <coughs> we wanted to spend a, a minute talking to you all about um are these trays so I know you all have seen and seen some of the videos about the trays and what's going on with them. So I wanted to share with you all a few pictures. When we were at home office last weekend, we got the opportunity to see the etching machine and see how the trays are now being etched. Um, they used to be just a surface etch. And what I mean by that, it, it was literally just skimming the surface and making a very light etch into the surface of the wood. But now our trays are being fully etched a sixteenth of an inch deep. So it is noticeably deep um, down into the wood. You can actually feel the etching. And because of that, it is creating um, depth in the wood that mm -hmm. is absolutely beautiful. So there were a couple of things that we were told when we were at home office um, about these trays. One of those things being that you do not want to use permanent Sharpies to fill in that etching. That over time it will patina and the etching will get darker. But if you use permanent markers to fill them in, um, as some people had been doing, you are making it non-food safe and your tray will not be able to be used for serving on any longer. So keep that in mind. Um, and trust me, what I've seen of these trays recently was incredible. They were absolutely beautiful. Um, and I do feel as though you all are gonna be very happy with them if you go ahead and get them. I am gonna share um, a couple of screenshots of these trays as soon as I can pull them up. Now, Beth, you were at the factory too a few weeks ago. Um, did you get to see the etching machine too? And they did show us the thing with the trays is so the tray to tray to tray because it's it's wood. Um, some of them you're going to see the writing a lot better than others, and that's just the way it is. And there's no changing that. And, um, you know, trying to, I know people were doing all kinds of crazy things to it, you know, aside from just, like, um, stop, just don't, just don't, just enjoy them. I just got one in today. I should go grab it out of the other room. Um, you can definitely see the etching, but you see it better when you hold it at an angle than look at it straight on because then you can kind of see the curvature and whatnot. Um, so I'll go grab that while Marie can shows you screenshots and then you can kind of see one like live and in person if you don't have one already. Um, and it's, it is a little hard to read, but it's really pretty. 
And the handles on these are gorgeous. I don't know if you guys have like seen them in person, but they're really pretty. They are so pretty. I am trying to get my screen share up for you all. So give me just a second. Y'all might actually have to see a couple of other pages um, in my files. So I hope you don't, don't mind that. There is our move, motivate, and make it happen. Um, these are in my photographs that we just took when we were in Ohio. So I'm going to be pulling them up from there. And I tried to pull them up first, and unfortunately, it wouldn't let me pull them up first. So can you all see my um, computer screen right now, me going through my files? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So let me get to them. I'm going to make this full screen so I can see what I'm looking at. So here we were at the etching machine and they were holding up this one right here. Do you all see that picture? Not yet. Not yet. We see the whole screen of different pictures still. Okay. So let me, let me see if I can do a new share and show just this picture. Do you see it now? Not yet. Okay. It may not let me do it for some reason. Do you see it yet? We still, I still see the whole screen of a whole bunch of pictures from your folder. Yeah, that's what, Is that I what you all are seeing too. I'm trying to share this particular screen, it won't let me. So let me see if I can just pull it up in um, this side view over here, big enough for y'all to see. Maybe that'll work. Can you see that? Nothing's changed on our end yet. Okay. Wait, wait, something's happening. Uh -oh. Now it's gray. That's not good. Oh, now we see it. Okay. So now I'm trying to figure out how to get it to the next picture. All right, here we go. I think we can do this now. All right, so this right here is actually in the factory. Do you all see the man holding the, the trays? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can actually see the one on the top that says shoe felts. You can see the etching into it. The one mm -hmm. below it is exactly the same, but it looks lighter. And the reason that it looks lighter is not because they have done anything different. It is because of the wood. So the different types of mango wood and the different kinds of grain, when it's etched, respond differently. So some of them may look darker and some of them may look lighter. But as I told you, over time, um, you can see even better here, the difference, one looks lighter and darker. When you feel it up close and touch it, they are exactly the same depth. But it's the response of the wood and the way that the machine, and this is the etching machine etching it, the way the, the machine reacts to it. So, so that's a little bit of detail on that, but just remember that over time it is going to patina. There is nothing wrong with yours when it comes in and it's not dark. It is going to patina over time as it's used and it will get darker down inside of the etched areas. They are absolutely beautiful in person. If you have not seen one in person, I highly encourage you to order one, take it and show it because you're going to sell them like crazy. Yeah, and they're bigger than they look in the catalog too. Um, I don't know if you can see, or if, do you have more pictures you want to show them right again? Yeah, I'll stop and you go ahead and pull yours up. Okay, well, I mean, look at this thing. Like, okay. huge, you guys. Look how big it is. Do this. So, Tilt it. I don't know if you can see. This way. The etching on it. Yeah, that's pretty. That is. It, it is pretty. I mean, it's dark. The, the wood itself is dark. So the welcome friends. Right. Um, is tougher to read than if it were a lighter wood, but it's gorgeous. Like these handles are super durable. This thing is not breaking, like no way. Um, and it's just so pretty. So um, I would definitely encourage you, like if you can get one, get, you know, with hostess credits, um, if you can't afford to buy it yourself, um, use a half price item, whatever, get one in your hands. Cause I really think people are gonna love these. Um, can you flip that over and use the other side if you turned it in? Um, I mean, you could. They have the 31 logo. I don't know if you can see that on the other oh, side. Really? Uh-huh. 
it's hard to see. Yeah, but I see it. It's small. Yeah, it's small. Um, I mean, your handles are going to be then, you know, like are on the, the bottom. Are the handles fixed? Sorry? Are the handles fixed? No, nope, they rotate. So. Yeah, like if you laid them down. You yeah. could. And then these would kind of act as feet. Right. The little feet. handle holder. Ooh. If you wanted to flip it and use it that way, that's a good idea. Okay. So it's real cute. I'm really excited by it. Um, and Rhonda is one thing that we, when we looked at that in the, in the book, it just looked like it wasn't etched very deep. Yeah. I mean, it, it is etched deep. It's just depending yeah. on the color of the wood itself. Right, right. It's a Which six makes sense. Of an inch. So I'm trying to show you between my fingernails how deep it is. It really is deep now. It is. I mean, you can feel the whole texture of the etching. Okay. Okay. Um, although I will say you can't hardly see it. There's the little heart underneath the oh, welcome yeah, friend. That's cute. That yeah. is not etched as deep as the words. I okay. don't know why. I don't know okay. if that's intentional or what, but um, but you can still see it. It's just not as deep as the words. You can't feel it as well. Right. Um, but I, I think these suckers are going to sell well. I mean, you guys know when we had them in Promising Picks back oh. in the fall, they sold out in like, what, 14 days. 20 days. So, um, but they've assured us that they have more in stock now. They're not going to sell out, hopefully, in the next two weeks, which would be good. Um, so definitely, they're a good um, booking, booking, what am yep. I trying to say? Booking <laughs> point, seed, whatever. Right. Booking yeah. is awesome. Incentive, yes. So. Right. So the next thing we wanted to discuss with you all is the stop sales and low inventory. So I'm going to bring here because I want to make sure you know where to go to find these because this is very important. Um, we have got a lot, a lot of items that are right now on low inventory. So mm -hmm. um, let me know when you see this screen and I'm going to show you how to find it. <clears throat> okay, so you should see business update. Let me know when you see it. There you go. There it is. We're good. Perfect. Okay. So to find this, it is under support business update. Okay. And what is going on is that this month's special has oversold by 300%. You heard me right. 300% over what they expected it to sell. It is an incredible special. And as consultants, you all are doing an amazing job selling it. And they had no idea that it was going to go like wildfire. And then with double hostess credit, it has been even more incredible. So currently, you have got a lot of these totes on low inventory. Um, the Cindy and Indigo Inc., they honestly did not expect us to still have it. They told us that it would have already been sold out. But I think what happened was people shifted what they were selling when they told us that we were going to sell out on it. And so they stopped pushing the Cindy as hard and started working to sell other items. Um, the bundle in the lakeside right here, this they have told us also is going to sell out. If it sells out, it will just go on back order, meaning your hostesses will still be able to get it. They just will not get it immediately. If any of the other things sell out, they are stop sell. That means your hostess, your customers will not be able to get it at that price. They'll have to wait until it comes back in the catalog um, at retail price. So this will be an excellent opportunity for you to offer them if the one that they want sells out to say, well, you know what, if you book a party and you're the hostess, then you can use your hostess half price to get it for the same price. So if that were to happen, remember that they can use a half price as a hostess to get those at the exact same price without spending the $35. Um, but this page is full, ladies. Um, we are talking about almost every tote now is low inventory. Two of them are completely stop sell. Yeah. In the, in the quilted black is no longer available. And the New Day tote in the Navy rugby is no longer available. So those two, you cannot get at all. But the rest of them, my suggestion for you is go ahead and work to get your sales completed as soon as you can. Get your parties in. If you wait until the last day, you're going to be calling customers and telling them, um, I'm sorry, what you wanted sold out. 
I've been really working on selling um, the backpacks because that is not an item on low inventory. Um, and I also have been selling more of the lakeside totes in the candy corners. The fold over weekenders um, are amazing. Unfortunately, most all of our backpacks, are, I mean, all, all of the duffels are now on low inventory. Um, and the Cindy totes are all on low inventory because those are items that we don't typically put on sale. So mm -hmm. that, is, that is the skinny on the low inventory. Yep, close your parties. I have a few that uh, I just, I didn't realize the little dreamer was on that list. So I'm like, oh crap, I need to close some stuff. Yeah. So yeah, check your orders. Make sure that your people are not going to be sad. So next on our, um, our, our update was, it says mini. Do you remember what that was about, Beth? That we, they added the mini utility bin to the list of specials because some of this stuff was selling out. That's so it. that same bin that was on sale last month, um, where you could get two of them for 35 this month, you can get one for, um, after your $35 purchase. So, and the little chick is in there. So some people that missed out on getting that, um, can still get them definitely in time for Easter. You get them in soon. I That's see my daughter has for her storage bin. Look at my, look at my notes. This is so funny. I put them on two separate lines. It says, oh. you can see it. It says uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm looking at your notes. I didn't notice that. I didn't know what storage bin was for. I knew what mini meant, but I didn't know what storage bin meant. Perfect. Okay. So another thing that I want to show with you um, on a screen share is where you can get the icon guide. There are a ton of icons and there have been a lot of questions about where um, you can find the icons. So what they have done now is they have made us a page that has that on it um, under marketing tools. I'm hoping that I'm going to the right place. That's where I believe that they told me it was at. It is. The scoop marketing tools and then down in here marketing materials I know it's being a little slow but there is now a full page that shows you all of the icons that you can print out and take to your parties with you um, and that'll make it a lot easier for you to be able to share those with them Am I still cutting in and out a little bit? A little bit, but not too bad. Okay, perfect. Um, and this, I haven't printed the latest one with the new stuff, but in my, um, if you guys can see that, in my um, guest folders, I do put the icon personalization guide in there because I feel like it makes it easier, especially now that we've got these other ones that are not even in the catalog. I for sure am gonna print this new version so that all my customers can see the flip-flop and all that cute stuff. Yes, and you can see right here, there's a personalization guide for the close to home tray for our pillows, just in general. And then right here is the personalization guide um, for all of the icons. I don't know, let me know if when I click it, are you gonna see the new screen or do you all still see the old screen? No, it's the gray, it's loading, I think. Okay, perfect, so um, on this page, this shows all of the icons. So you can print this out front to back um, and then you will have all the icons to be able to show them because not all of the icons are actually listed um, in our catalog. And it is loading very slowly on that second page, but I promise you they are there. So this is something that you definitely want to, there you go. You definitely want to make sure that you have with you because we do have a lot of new icons. And ladies, um, we've got more coming. So be excited, there's more to come, but all of these icons are now available and they are in the icon section when you go to um, look it up for personalization. You're gonna look in the icon section for everything you see on this page. All right, so now- Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, once they bring an icon in, are they temporary? Some of them are they permanent? It just depends. Um, 
all of the ones that they have released recently, like the the whale and the flip flop and the stethoscope, we don't we haven't heard anything that oh they're only available until whenever. They um, they're uh, available till the end of June. Is that right, Susan? So I feel like they'll probably revisit it when the catalog comes out again. I mean, who knows what's going to be in there then? Okay. I think okay. that they told us the new ones that they just brought out are available until the end of June. Is that right, Susan? Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. They were not, they weren't keeping them the whole time because that was a big question that we had when we were at Leadership University. Um, huh. I feel like July and August are prime months for flip flops. So I think that's silly, personally. Me too. Down Thank here you. In Florida, it's flip flops year round. So, yeah. Susan to tell me if she remembers seeing that. Do you remember hearing that, Susan? I don't think she hears me, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> so um, the next thing that we want to talk to you all about is the summer gift guide and promising picks that are coming out. So um, I did pull my stuff. Um, if you earned a K group and you got some of the products delivered to you that are going to be in um, the, the guide. So um, I earned the 2K group and I got all of these items um, and I'm going to show them to you in just a minute, but I got all of these items um, for free for just doing my job. And that's one of the things that we love about this company. Um, so Beth and I are both wearing our new jewelry and we'll show that to you. Yep. It's so pretty. And I, can you, I want to see, I'm going to get right up here, y'all. <laughs> Oh, that is pretty. Aren't they pretty? Yes. It's funny. I don't think Beth and I knew that we ordered exactly the same one. Yeah. I know. <laughs> mine's black, though. Yours is blue, mine's right? Blue. Yeah, mine's blue. Yours looks black. It. Mine is black. All I wear is black almost every day, so I figured I needed black. I wear jeans all the time, so I thought, hey, blue will go with most everything. Um, so here is the new guide. Um, you all are going to be seeing this at the Better Together meeting, and can they order them already, Beth? I believe they can. Yes. I, I'll double check right now. Yep. Um, mine does also have the promising picks in it because as a, um, as a 2K group member, a 1K, 2K, and 4K group members get to sell the promising picks. And the promising picks are items that they are test marketing. So we have test marketing products and our necklaces and our bracelets. You see right there. Beth has got her coordinates for her house on it, and mine says hashtag 31 dream. So um, they are part of the test marketing products. And yes, the gift guide flyers are in your back office on business supply orders. Okay, so for most people, this is what you see in your gift guide. And we have got some beautiful things available. These flip flops are available in the gift guide. Um, this mm -hmm. cinch sack that you see right here is a thermal cinch sack. Um, we also have these cute trays. I'm going to pull them up and show them to you because I actually have them sitting right here beside me. Um, so thermal cinch sack, which I think is going to be wildly popular um, with the flip flops on it. So it is the washable thermal lining on the inside. This is part of our summer guide. Um, this cute handy dandy thing, which I absolutely love. We used to have these years ago. They're calling it the Summer Fun Caddy. I use this when we go down to the beach, um, when we are in our camper and we're using the showers, because the bottom of it, sand water runs right through it. It's fabulous. So this is another cute thing. Even the mesh pockets on the side, water and everything will go right through. So this is, this will be, and you'll be surprised at how wildly popular it will be. I still have customers asking me for them from where we had them in the past. That was super popular for college students that have like the communal showers and had to carry their stuff down to the shower. Um, yeah. Super, super popular for girls in dorms. So keep that in mind if you have customers with girls heading off to college in the fall. Let's see, and this one is one I was really excited about because I was heartbroken when they took this out of our cat catalog. Um, they are calling this the Fold Up Family Organizer. It was called the Timeless Beauty Bag. They've made updates to it, ladies. It is bigger. It is larger than it used to be. It no longer, see if you can see this, it no longer has the places with the pin or the makeup brush holders 
all of these are pockets now. So you've got four different size pockets on this which is really perfect for people to hang on the back of the car seat for their children to store all of their stuff in. Um, that was probably one of the biggest uses for it. I love it to use for my um, office on the go. I put mini catalogs, um, a couple of different things in here, and I actually, I wish I had my other bag with me, but it's upstairs. Um, but I use one of these all the time. So this is very similar to something that we've had in the past. They've redesigned it, and I... So cool. Mobile office. Yeah. <laughs> I sold more of them as a mobile office than anything else because with all the different pockets and stuff, you could have minis, you could have uh, recruiting folders, business cards, um, door prize kind of slips, gift certificates, like just everything. I still, to this day, this is in my networking bag. Yep. So um, that's why it's all packed and ready for me to show you. I wasn't actually prepared. Don't get crazy. This just <laughs> happens to be sitting right next to my desk. Um, but if that is something, if you have a lot of other friends in direct sales, like so many of us do, that is something that you can encourage for them because it is so useful and OMG tax write off for them when they buy them. And I have a lot of girls that would buy them for their teens and stuff too. Absolutely. Um, other things in the gift guide, people ask, so why in the world, um, is the perfect party set not in the summer catalog? Well, it's in the gift guide, um, and it's in summer colors. And then we have two, um, large utility totes in summer patterns that are in here. Um, there is an umbrella back in here and of course special icons, um, which you saw a minute ago. Now, for those of you that are doing promising picks, yours has a second page inside. And with the promising picks collection, if you are not selling promising picks, contact one of your um, fellow consultants who is, because you can buy these from them. Um, they did give us permission this time to sell them to other consultants. In the past, they've told us no. But this time they said, absolutely, we want you all wearing them, we want them out there, we wanna see what you think of them. So there are lots of different designs of jewelry pieces that we are going to be having um, in the Promising Picks. Here's more the bar jewelry and the necklaces. Um, this one right here is a teardrop shape that is just a really pretty little, um, what do you call it, charm as well. So, and both Beth and I have what they're calling the knockout style. Um, yeah. And the knockout is with, it's knocked out. The letters are knocked out and then the blue is solid. So yeah, so like the color in the background and then the letters in the silver, basically. You yeah. can do it in the reverse and have your letters in blue or black or pink or whatever and just have the silver background. So they're offering it either way. And I don't know if we didn't cover it. For those that don't even know what the heck we're talking about as far as promising picks goes, that's something that they've been doing for the last couple of years where they're allowing um, a group of people to earn their way into test marketing. And that's how the tray started. Um, that's how the pillow started. That's how the wall hanging started. There was a whole bunch of things that over the years we've test marketed. And if they work, they end up in a catalog like the tray has now. So um, that's what we mean when we say promising picks. It means it's stuff that they may or may not really have the whole field selling in the future. But if it works out, then yes, expect to see it in catalog. Absolutely. So that that makes sense. Yes. Oh, and the chains that we're wearing, these are different than our regular chains. These are called a delicate chain. I don't know if you can tell. Um, mm -hmm. It's really hard to show this to you, but it is much finer and thinner um, than our other chains that we have. It's, it's really pretty. And it's really it's pretty. Cool. It's got, it's really, it, it's very dainty. Um, the little clasp, this crazy hair, the little clasp gets stuck in my hair every time I put it on or take it off. Um, cause I was trying to take pictures of it for Marika and I'm like, Oh, I'm stuck. Um, but it's really stinking cute. And you can see right here. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see, but you see how mine has the adjustments. Mm -hmm. It's got three different levels that you can wear it at. So it adjusts two inches. So I'm wearing mine on the shortest, um, yeah. and you can make it up to two inches longer than that, which is really a neat thing with that as well. So ladies, those are the promising picks and the summer gift guide. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Woohoo! Yeah, right. we talked about that for a really long time. Sorry about that. All right, so next, um, Beth is gonna do a little bit of sharing with you all. There has been lots and lots and lots, and I mean lots, of questions about Facebook. 
and how to get people to comment, how to get people to buy, how to do Facebook parties, what is going to make your marketing on Facebook successful. And Beth is absolutely the pro on this. Um, she actually has a Facebook group that you all need to join. Um, Beth, tell, tell them the name of your group because I don't want to tell them wrong. I, I, you're cutting out, love. I don't know what you just said. <laughs> what is the name of your Facebook group that you have for um, oh. on Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a group we started um, called Successfully Social. So it's on Facebook. It's open to everybody. It's not just 31 consultants. Um, myself and um, a, actually a unique girl up in Canada, she and I work with Steve Wiltshire of Lifeline Coaching, and we've written some Facebook trainings for him. Um, we've got some more trainings in the works. We are doing social media coaching with his organization. So Kelly and I decided to launch this group at the beginning of January. Um, and our goal, basically, in a nutshell, is to make Facebook a less icky place one post at a time. Because there's a lot of people doing Facebook wrong, and it's obnoxious, and you guys have probably all been there, like added to 785 groups that you don't want to be in um, by people that you only vaguely know. Um, so we're trying to teach people that there's a better way to market yourself and be successful on Facebook. So successfully social, you guys are all welcome to join it share it with your teams, whatever. I mean, we basically are just posting daily tips and industry news and, you know, challenges and accountability and stuff like that. Um, but okay. Raise your hand if you're doing Facebook parties at all right now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Kind of. Okay. Awesome. Um, that's great. Facebook is, uh, it's evolved. Like when Marika and I first started our businesses, it wasn't a thing. There, it, didn't, it didn't exist. I wasn't even on Facebook. I don't think. I don't think I was even, I don't even think I had a page. I just got on it in 2008, which was the year I joined. So yeah, I, I don't, I, there was like, what was that one that was before Facebook? Um, oh, that ugly site. I know what you're talking about. The one with the picked it had something to do my space it was my my space yeah. yeah 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 that that hideous thing yeah that's where we all were before facebook facebook is a bajillion times better um but the thing to keep in mind is that facebook is a social network it is not a business network facebook um they you can get in trouble with facebook you can lose your account you can get banned you can have features stripped to facebook jail We've all heard of that or perhaps been there ourselves. Um, you can have any of that happen to you if you're not playing by their rules. It is their playground. And if you come in and spray paint their playground equipment and pee on the floor, they're going to be like, no, get out. So don't be that girl. Um, play nice with them. They'll play nice with you. You can totally have a Facebook group, a VIP customer group. Does anybody have one of those for your customers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, you can totally have a business page if you want to have a business page. Um, that's a little different than a group. It's a public page. Um, Marika and I both have public figure pages. Um, that's totally okay. You can post what you want on there, basically. Um, it's a little different than your Facebook wall. Your Facebook wall, you can't post, hey, I'm having a big giant sale. Here's my link. That's a big no-no. You can't do that. Um, you can do that in your customer group. You can do that on your public figure page. Um, Basically, the biggest goal on Facebook, um, above selling, above everything else, the biggest goal for your business should be to get people interacting with you. So how do you do that? You do that by engaging them. You do that by being a real person, um, by not being that salesy girl that everybody wants to block from their newsfeed because you're being obnoxious. I know we all have people like that. I have people I've blocked because I'm tired of their little posts all about their business with little cheesy icons and all that crap that they stick in them, thinking that that makes it okay when it doesn't. Um, so you want to engage with them. And the best place to do that is both at your parties and then long-term in your closed customer group. Your closed customer group is ultimately where you want to funnel your party people to because that's where you really get to build the long-term relationship. Um, how do you get them there really is at that Facebook party when you've got this whole new group of people um, that you didn't know before, right? Your hostess has invited her friends from Oregon and Idaho and all these places. Um, you want to make sure that you are engaging with them through doing things like polls. Um, Facebook polls get approximately 80% more interaction than just a post. Um, including videos or Facebook lives with your posts whenever you can. I'm not saying every single post because that would be obnoxious too, 
but to have a, at least once in every party to go live um, for a couple reasons. Number one, it gets people, again, interacting with you. And number two, Facebook, um, that live is still kind of their baby. They are more likely to show um, <clears throat> your live into their news feeds for those people that have RSVP yes to that party than they are to just show your posts that don't have a live or a video or anything like that. Facebook is still really promoting live um, because it's more innovative and all that stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I can't talk for this long apparently. Um, the other thing you wanna do is um, if you can't do video, can't do live, you wanna have pictures. You don't wanna just rely on stock images. Don't just pull the companies. I mean, we got some real cute stuff out there. The catalog is gorgeous you guys know this but people want to see you interacting with the products they want to see you how do you use the your way cubes in your house not this gorgeous spread that they can never strive to be because it's photoshopped and on a set and it's not real life people want to see your messy ass house they don't care it's real that's what people want to see is the real you they're getting to know you and they're seeing oh my gosh i could do that i got a messy laundry room i could make it a little bit neater by having some your way cubes in a um, Ikea shelf I can do that it makes it more attainable for them because that catalog is not attainable does anybody's house actually look like that like no. um, decorate my house. if yours does I need you here because money does not look like that it's not even close and I'm pretty organized um, so be real let them see the real you let them see um, that kind of stuff and the other thing is um, one of the things I always say is you need to either make them think, make them laugh, or rock their soul. Yeah. If you're doing one of those three things, making them think, making them laugh, or rocking your soul, <laughs> write it down. You've not heard me say that, Marie, and I feel like I say that all the time. You have not said um, it to me. Well, now I have. Um, if you're doing one of those three things, you're grabbing their attention. People want to be entertained right like how often are you scrolling through your newsfeed and something catches your attention because it's funny or because it's some crazy video and you're like i gotta click and hear the sound on that like that's the stuff that catches us right um if it's just this big thing of text you're not as likely to read it so you want to do things that are going to capture their attention um i play games i am not necessarily a big game girl in my home parties that's not my thing it, it's just not it's just not. But in my Facebook parties, I play games. Um, I wrote a bunch of different games um, for the Facebook course that I wrote. Um, and I will play, I mean, we've all played like the guessing game and stuff like that. Um, I'll usually play that at least once during a party and then I'll play a longer game that spans multiple days. Something like a Simon Says or a How Well Do You Know the Hostess or um, I love, um, I love this or that is a fun one too where you just show them two different products and which one would they pick um, or uh, how would you use it show them a product and have them come up with the most creative use they can come they can come up with for it um, those are all really product related I have a, a never have I ever have you guys ever played that it's actually a drinking game I'm a big fan um, that I never game where you like have like statements and it's like, I never drink a Diet Coke, and whoever has gets a point, right, because they've done it. So I do what I never um, with, I think, 18 questions, and whoever has the most points at the end get the prize, and they can't see who's answering what, because I do it in a Google form, which is my other big tip for you, Google Forms. I'm talking fast, and I'm talking a lot, so stop me if you need to stop me, but Google Forms are going to be the biggest cha game changer for your Facebook parties. Because a Google form that's capturing their information um, is going to give them an easy, inobtrusive, non-scary, non-threatening way to say, yes, I'm interested in a party or yes, I'm interested in the business without having to say it in front of all their friends right on a party post. Does that make sense? Because people are not always that bold. And it, the first time I did it, it shocked me. How many people were like, yeah, I want to do a party. Yeah, yeah, can I have a Facebook party? I'm like, huh, okay, sure, let's make that happen. Um, and you just post it in your party description and post it at least once throughout your event saying, hey, here's my Google form if you want a catalog sent to you or be entered in this month's prize drawing. 
just go ahead and fill out this form. And it's got all the basic contact information, name, email address, phone, all that. You're adding them to your email list, right? That the home office sends out our newsletter. And then it also has questions for, um, would you be interested in a home party? Or I'm sorry, would you be interested in a party? Yes, I'd love to do a home party. Hey, I'm a little far away. How about a Facebook party? Yeah, I could take some catalogs to work. Or no, I'd rather just be a really good customer than a hostess. And it's got all those different check boxes. They check off whatever. And then you have a question saying, hey, if you were interested in a party, what month are you looking at? And it's just a fill-in. And they put in whatever whatever information. And then I always have a question about business opportunity. I've gotten a couple of recruits off my Google form. Um, and it's always just like, hey, if I promise not to stalk you, I admit I'm a little bit interested in your business. Yes or no. And then you can follow up with them. Follow up's always the key, just like with everything else. Same thing with your Google form. Um, so that's something that I would definitely encourage you to do. It's really free. Google's totally free. Um, just if you don't have a Google account already, just go create one and then you'll have your little Google Drive where you can create your form and all that stuff. Um, I know Marika knows how to do it. Um, so she can help you if you have questions too. Um, but definitely be posting that. And then that's a form that you can use. It's a resource that you have available to you. Then you could include it in your newsletter. Um, you could include it in your VIP customer group. You could stick it on your public figure page. Um, something like that, you could even stick on your personal wall saying, hey, um, here's a quick form um, if you guys want uh, to check out the new summer gift guide or something like that. As long as you're not including your link and you're not doing it every day and you're not being spammy and gross, you can do that every now and again. That's not against policies, policies and procedures. Um, so what, what did I miss, Morgan? Because I'm talking really fast because I feel like we went over on the first part. So I was trying to be quick. I am taking notes because I'm just like, oh my gosh, good stuff. Um, I do use forms, but I don't use them in that way. So you're teaching me. I love it. It's really easy. I mean, they're really easy to make, right? Like there's, it's not hard at all. Like Google totally walks you through it. And I'm telling you, it will change your business. It hundred percent will. And what it's going to do is generate an, a, a spreadsheet that's going to live on your Google drive. Make that part of your weekly plan to go in and check your spreadsheet to see what new responses you have see who's requested a catalog. Um, if you've got a lot of parties going at one time, maybe check it more than once a week so you don't feel like you're getting behind. But I at least check it like every Monday on Monday mail day and see who do I need to shoot a catalog out to, you know, what's going on there. And then that becomes kind of your list as well. So all these people who are now saying, yes, send me a catalog, you're sending them spring. But then when fall rolls around, you've got this list of people who requested a spring. You can reach back out to them and say, hey, we got a new catalog. Do you want one? Um, and, you know, send them that with whatever August, whatever the monthly special flyer is for that month that the catalog comes out. And, you know, pick up your people that way because they're clearly interested or they wouldn't request a catalog. They wouldn't take the time to fill this out and request a catalog if they didn't really want it. It's not like an vendor event where they're just walking by and taking one off of every table and throwing it out, throwing it out when they get home, right? Right. So smart. So if you have questions on something specific on Facebook, that I can answer for you? Did I overwhelm the crap out of all of you? Yeah. <laughs> it's recorded. It's recorded. So you can rewatch it because that's what I'm going to do. Because I was like, whoa, that was awesome, Beth. Awesome. And well, so, feel free to reach out to me if you do have questions. Um, and Beth is in our team group. So if you do have a question, you can message her from our team group. Um, so no, she's, she's in there if you have a question. And join her, join, join her group. I mean, there's lots of good stuff in there. Um, and they are just doing an incredible job with the Facebook stuff. She and I were talking about it the other day. I am still learning it. Beth has totally got it. I will let you know that the thing that has made the biggest difference for me recently are the lives. The Facebook Live truly, truly, truly does make a difference. Um, Facebook sends it to people. Mm -hmm. and People know that you're there if you're on live. So if you haven't done a live, consider doing a live because it doesn't have to be anything big either. Pick your favorite. Yeah. Pick I mean, your favorite. and you, they even send out that silly, that alert. Yeah. Like, so it's live. Like they aren't doing that with your regular posts, like by any stretch. So take advantage of that fact. Um, I will say, make sure your internet connection is good because mine being as bad as it is right now, I can't even go live from my computer right now because my internet is a piece of crap. Um, so until I get a booster for my house, I have to, I can still go live from my phone. That still works okay off the cellular 
wild network, whatever that's called. Um, but my Wi-Fi is, uh, so just make sure like it's, and here's what Kelly and I do is we have a group that's just the two of us for testing stuff. So we can find out before we like go to the masses with something, if something's working or not. Um, there's a thing we're playing with called Be Live, where two people can be side by side and go live together. Um, that's a lot of fun. That would be something fun to do with your hostess. You don't have to be sitting next to each other. Like Marika and I could go live together on the same screen at the same time with Be Live. And it's in beta still, so it's still free. Eventually, it's probably going to be a paid service. I don't know that for sure. But um, Kelly and I have been playing with that a lot. And that's, that's kind of fun. It's kind of different, kind of new. Get your hostess, go live to, her, to your guests for the Facebook party. I mean, how fun is that? Um, you can do video in Messenger now um, with up to six people interacting together. Um, that would be another little fun Facebook party, too. Oh, yeah. Lots of fun ideas. Um, the <coughs> actually are talking about trying the, um, what did you call it again, Beth? Where the two of them together? Yes, the Be Live. Yeah, um, in, in the Road to K group. So if you are in um, the Road to K group, Beth and I have been talking about testing that out in there. So um, you may be seeing that coming sometime soon. Um, because we think that that's just a really cool feature that'll give us the opportunity to be um, together and live to be able to answer questions for some of, some of you ladies. So you never know where you might see us both pop up together. Woo! <coughs> um, thank you all so much for joining. Did anyone have any other questions? I mean, I know tons of information that we just gave you, but if you have any questions, now is the time. You've got us both here and we're ready. I don't. Yeah, we're quiet. Well, will be. This was recorded, and we will post it. Um, I will post it um, as soon as it finishes uploading. I have to upload it to YouTube and then send it back out to you all. So as soon as that process finishes, um, I will get this posted so you can rewatch it, just like I'm going to do, so I can learn all of Beth's tips again. So I, I wrote down: um, make them think, make them blank, um, or so what was that word in the middle? Laugh. <laughs> make them laugh. That make them think, awesome. make them laugh or rock their soul. I yeah. love it. That is, that is my Beth quote. That's awesome. Yay. And that, I mean, just that, just that right there is enough just to say, whoa, good job. Thanks, Beth. You bet. All right, ladies. Thank you all so much for joining us. Congratulations on an awesome, awesome, awesome March. Can't wait to see how it ends out. And you all will see us in two weeks um, for our next call. And listen very carefully. We are going to be talking about National Conference. So, if you're not sure you want to come, make sure you're on that call because I guarantee you after we are done, you're going to want to be there. And we will be registering for conference very shortly. So we wanted to make sure that you all um, had all the details and information so that you knew why you wanted to come. And our next call is on April 10th. So we will see you all April 10th at nine o'clock and have a blessed night. Bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Oh my